What's up guys and welcome back to our channel once again and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to build a joystick LCD game with Arduino. For this project you'll need six things. Some wires, this blue coding wire, an Arduino Uno, Mega or Nano to upload the code, a breadboard and a potentiometer, a joystick module and an LCD, 16 by 2 LCD. Let's get started. We're going to start off by wiring up the LCD. We're going to start off by getting a common GND and 5V pin onto the breadboard. So this is a GND. GND is the negative side, so that's going to go on the blue area. And a 5V from here, which is right there. That will go on the right side. We'll keep these right next to each other. Okay, so after that, we're going to connect the VSS pin, which is right here, this first one, onto the GND, which is here, this blue rail. Now if you're using a mini breadboard, then you'll have to connect them onto this area because a mini breadboard doesn't have these two big rails. After that, you connect the VDD, which is the one right on the right side of the VSS, onto the positive rail, which in our case is 5V, right there. Now we're going to connect the next pin over here to the middle somewhere over here. The reason I'm connecting this in the middle is because this is where the potentiometer's middle pin will go. We're going to connect that in a second. So remember that we connect it right here. After that we connect the RS pin, which is right next to the potentiometer's middle leg area, into digital pin number 11. Digital pin number 11 is under digital pin number 12, 13, and that is under the GND pin right there. You can see over here it says 13, 12, and 11. Then we move on to the RW, which is on the right side of the previous pin, and we connect this onto the GND, which again is the blue rail. Then E goes on to digital pin number 9. Digital pin number 9 will be right over here. And now we're going to move on to D, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Which are conveniently on this side. A couple pins on the right side from the previous one that we did. So if you can see that E is right there. We're starting off over here with D4. D4 is 4 pins to the right of E. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is where it is. So D4 goes on to digital pin number 6. Now D5, 6, and 7 go on to 5, 4, 3. So they're right on this side. So we just connect this wire right here. This one goes on the left side over here. And the next two pins also go on the left side over there. The next wire we're going to do is A, which is the second last to the right of the LCD. This one goes on to the 5 volt pin over here, the, these red ones, it's right there. And the same thing with K, except K goes on to the blue area, which is a GND. So that's the LCD all wired up. So now just to test if we did all the wiring properly, once you plug, when you plug in a power supply or plug into your laptop, computer, any type of thing that gives it power, you should see the LCD turning on. There, right now we haven't uploaded any type of code, so it's not going to do anything right now. This is just to see if you code it properly. The back light should turn on right there. And plug it back out and we continue the rest of the coding. The next component that we're going to wire up is the joystick module. So for this one, it's really straightforward. This one has three wires that you connect, the VCC, GND, and X. So we're going to connect two wires over here. These two are, these two wires are the GND and VCC. The first one is the GND, which is the blue wire. I'm connecting this over here. And the next one is the VCC, which is over here. The pin right next to them is the x-axis one. So these first three. And the x-axis wire goes onto digital pin number two, which is over here. There. That's the joystick connected. Now it's time to do the potentiometer. The potentiometer wire, which is all the way on the right side, or since you're watching, it's going to be on the left side we will connect on to the GND and the one that's all the way on the right is going on the 5V and last but not least the middle pin is going to go next to this blue wire right over here so I've already uploaded my code I'll, the code will be in the description you guys can check it out from there and now time to upload the code and make this game work this game is really, really, really easy. Literally anyone can play. The only one control is pushing the x-axis of this joystick down. Like this and it should start. 
Let's see what score you get. Me and him are both gonna play to see who has the better score and who's better at this homemade game. Oh my god, he's actually pretty good. No, he died. 16. Yeah. Oh yeah, another thing I should mention is that this counter over here counts the amount of seconds you played for, not how many times you jumped. Yeah, I already, I already died at 3. Let me try again. One more try. Hey. It's hard for me to play because I'm filming and playing at the same time. So I'm making excuses. Yo, I beat his record. Okay, never mind. Hey. <laughs> I died, I died, that was too early. Hey, 67 seconds is pretty good. That's this all-time record. Make this game at home, play it, and tell me if you beat my high score.